So it's been a long cold winter and this was my container garden in February right out here on my deck. We had a lot of snow and I'm going to limit this video to um, just my container garden and what I have going on up here as far as gardening. I will cover my other three gardens in another video, okay? I like to keep you guys updated on how things are growing. So as I mentioned in an earlier video, I like to start all of my cool season herbs and vegetables in windowsill boxes. I like to use natural sunlight to start my plants every year. And so I usually have about two or three of these going at all times um, for each season. So I do a spring garden, I do a summer garden, and I also do a fall garden. So this is how they looked in, um, I guess, early March, maybe late February. And this is how they look right now. And I've been slowly moving these into my garden, into the beds. This is how all of my seedlings looked in um, early March. Now there's about 150 seedlings here. Some of these are also summer vegetables such as peppers, tomatoes, and some summer herbs. And this is how they look this morning. It's April 4th, and so this is how they looked this morning. And as I mentioned in my earlier video about how I like to start cool season vegetables, and I'll leave a link here in case you missed it, I move those seedlings outside as soon as I can. As soon as they start getting their first true leaves, I'll start moving them outside gradually, and then I just leave them outside. So I like to have them outside and in their natural environment as soon as I can get them out there. But of course, if I have tomatoes and peppers like you see here, those get moved in whenever I see that there's going to be a threat of frost. So if my weather forecast shows that it's going to be below 40 degrees, those plants are going to be moved inside my house. And I have found that lately, for some reason, my forecast has been off a lot. For instance, you see here that it says tonight, and I took this uh, screenshot yesterday, that it was going to be 41 degrees in my area. Well, when I woke up, <laughs> it was freezing temperatures. It was 32 degrees, and everything on my deck was frozen. My, I'll show you pictures in here in just a minute. But this is why, if it's even... 40 degrees or below now, I move everything indoors, and I like to just keep them on the floor. This is from last year. This is a picture I took last year. So this here will give you an idea how cold it gets on my deck. And this is the ice. It has completely frozen in my fountain. And then also everything else was covered with ice, um, like my grill and the, my patio table. And so everything was kind of had ice crystals on it. Of course, though, all of my cool season vegetables are fine, and that's why I leave them out there. It's not any trouble for me to leave them out there. This is the cilantro and green onion that I showed you in March, and now here they are this morning, and they're doing just fine. Um, I have also started cilantro in pots. I like to succession plant my cilantro, so even though I have a nice pot going now, I also will have this one, and it will be nice and mature in uh, next by next month. So I showed you how to grow cilantro, and I'll leave you a link to that video if you'd like to check it out. These are my chives. I've been cutting on them a little bit, but they're starting to produce little blossoms, which will be beautiful in May. And I've recently been shipped a product called a green stock vertical garden system so that I can do a review of it and I think this will be very nice for anyone who has a small space where they want to grow maybe herbs and vegetables. This video I'm going to do it complete from beginning to end so that you will actually see, see me harvesting what I'm growing in it. So that's going to be a while before I can upload that video. It'll probably be the end of May, maybe in June and I hope to have that for you so you can check it out. We'll see how it does. Now I also like to plant lettuce in my containers. So I've been sprinkling out a little bit of lettuce. I just work it into the soil a little bit. I'm not real structured about how I grow lettuce. I'll just gently water it in and then give it a tag, of course, so I don't plant anything else there. And then soon I'll have lettuce like this growing. I grow lettuce in my container garden every year and it's one of my favorite things to grow. So you guys know that I use the square foot gardening book quite a bit in order to get my plantings done. And I wanted to show you something here. Um, you will notice that this schedule here uh, shows that I can plant my lettuce about four weeks before my last frost date. And for a long time I've referred to this and I've always thought that the little seed that you see here 
that that meant that's when I should put the seed in the ground. And from then when I looked at the key, I started to look at it a little bit closer and I noticed that it said growth period started with the seeds. And I noticed, I uh, also cross-referenced this chart with my county extension office, and it always said to plant leaf lettuce um, about six weeks before my last frost day. So I learned quickly that I think that when the Square Foot Gardening book mentions the growth period, it's actually talking about the actual plant growing and not putting it in the ground. So I always start my seeds very early, but you know, we're all different, so some people want to wait, um, a little bit later just to be sure but I'm pretty confident now that I've been growing in uh, this zone for I guess four or five years now that I can start those seeds very early and even if we get a freeze I'll be fine with these cool season vegetables. Now of course with lettuce you know that will bolt pretty quick. I, I'll, I do what's called succession plant my lettuce so that I have a new crop coming in as the other ones getting old and bitter and possibly even bolting depending on the temperatures. This is a lettuce in my container garden that was bolting. So something else that I've also been working on that I've been putting off for years is dividing my perennial herbs like this right here is my mint and so I divided it and that was in uh, middle of March and right now this morning it looked like this. It's doing very well. I also divided my Greek oregano and um, it's doing great too. I put some of the divisions in another garden. I divided my thyme. It's greening up a little bit. We'll see how that comes along. I also bought a new thyme plant. It's called lavender thyme. So we'll see how that is this year. So this is my parsley. I showed you how to grow parsley and it's about to bolt, which means it'll go to seed on me. I'll go ahead and pull this out and plant something else there um, because I like to have my parsley started early and um, it's in another container. I've already started it. So I will pull this out and I'll have this container for something else. And then one more thing I wanted to point out as well is if you are a regular subscriber, you know last year in my container garden I broke my fountain and I just love to have a water feature in my garden. So if you're a new subscriber, I'll explain that I picked my fountain up to move it and underneath it was a wasp nest. And those wasps just came out and they were swarming everywhere and I dropped that fountain and ran inside quicker than you could blink an eye. And, you know, of course it broke. So um, I found this one. I wanted to let you guys know about it. It's at Lowe's and it's half off right now. So I really like it a lot. Um, just wanted to let you know about it. I'll leave a link below the video if you'd like to check it out. You know, obviously I don't get paid or anything for promoting it, but I wanted to let you know. So there it is. So thanks so much for watching, and y'all stay tuned for updates on my other gardens. They will be coming soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.